Hey all, P here. I'm uh, sitting out on a farm in a shed. And I gotta tell you, these smells and sounds out here just take me right back to when I was growing up with my good friend Matt. And uh, there's something really peaceful about the feeling of being in a shed like this. It's nice and cool in here, it's warm outside. You can smell animals and dirt and tools and grease. Good stuff. <laughs> Those of you that grew up around that, you know what I'm talking about. I did not get to grow up on a farm, but my best friend did. And I am very grateful for that. And I'm grateful for my opportunity to grow up in a rural area in the country and to be surrounded by agriculture. Anyway, today what I'm doing is this is a kind of a quick video on trap modification. I'm actually converting some of my traditional jaw traps to uh, offset jaw. Now this is one of the modifications that wildlife biologists have on their traps when they trap wolves to radio collar them. It's uh, something that makes the animal more comfortable and it allows blood flow to continue to the foot easier. Um, now, if you don't offset your jaws, it doesn't mean that you're gonna come to a, up to a trap with a crushed foot in it. That is not what a trap does. A trap's job is to catch and hold, not destroy. Um, but I always point out that wildlife biologists use leg hold traps to radio collar wolves because, you know, I, you can't call me a socialist or a socialist, don't call me a socialist, please. You can't call me a sociopath who enjoys torturing animals, but then support, you know, all this BS wolf introduction and and all the research that goes along with that, where you can't have it both ways. A wildlife biologist can't be a good guy who's just trapping wolves to collar them and not hurting them, and, and those traps don't like magically have some magic dust that you know, hippie biologist sprinkles over him and makes it not hurt the animal. And mean, bloodthirsty, you know, slaughter happy sociopath trappers traps work somehow differently in bizarro world. It doesn't work that way, you can't have it both ways. I make the same modifications on my traps that wildlife biologists have on theirs. I can't be bloodthirsty if they're not. It doesn't work that way. So you can disagree with harvesting animals for their fur, but you can't tell me that I'm hurting animals by trapping them. Just keep that in mind. So anyway, I'm out here at the farm and my friend's house, Farmer Fred, really good guy. We hunt pheasants out here every fall and uh, he's, a, he's a great guy that lets me come out and use his gear. He lives quite a ways from my house so I don't do a lot of welding on my traps but when I offset, I have to come out here and use his wire feed. I'm not a great wire feed welder um, but I do okay, don't make fun of me too much. Um, thank you, Mr. Jim Sorensen, my agriculture teacher and FFA advisor for teaching me how to weld and for pushing me to be in, in ag. And um, I promise if you're watching this, we will go have breakfast at some point. We were supposed to go have breakfast last winter and then this, as soon as I got done trapping and then this zombie apocalypse, COVID cooties started. So I haven't forgotten you, Mr. Sorensen. We will, we will go out to breakfast here before too long. So today we're taking traditional jaws that close all the way and we're gonna offset them. It only requires two very brief welds. First thing you do is set your trap. And since you all know that my middle name is Safety, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna put any kind of clamps on my springs. I'm just gonna be careful not to hit the while I'm welding. So what I like to do is I put the wire on a real slow feed and I put it about where I want to make my weld then I pull my helmet down. There's one, go to the other side, same thing. Done deal. Now, I'll show you what this looks like once they're done.
offset. It's that simple, folks. It is that simple. I've been out here about an hour and I've done about three dozen traps. I'm getting ready to go home. So if you want to convert your old long springs, double long springs that you buy used from somewhere to get started trapping to offset, which I think you should do. I recommend doing it. Um, again, animal safe comfort. And, you know, as things get more regulated in the future, which I hope they don't, Idaho is the least regulated state in the nation right now, which is why I think it's the best state in the nation. But, you know, down the road, they may require you to offset jaws and then they'll already be done. Okay, simple piece of cake. If you don't know how to weld with a wire feed, grab somebody who can show you. They can teach you in about five minutes to do this. It's not a big deal. All right. So thanks for tuning in today. Till next time. Remember that God is great. Guns are good. Freedom is precious and friends are special. So thanks again to Farmer Fred for letting me come out here and use his equipment and shoot pheasants every year. And thank you to Mr. Sorensen, my ag teacher, for being a great teacher and also a good friend. See you next time.